from one student who thought she'd gotten into Texas A&M Corpus Christi's nursing program only to find out it was a mistake. Our Taylor Alanis joins us now in the studio. Now, Taylor, you not only talked with a student, but you now know the reason behind the mistake. Yes, Mackenzie, we told you at six about the university accidentally sending out acceptance letters to everyone who applied to the program. Tonight, I spoke with a student who says she is beyond disappointed and upset, and it's all because of one employee. I mean, a B student. I thought I was going to be able to get in. It was supposed to be the happiest day of Amy DeRussi's life. You know, I was super excited that I got in. Opening the letter telling her she got into Texas A&M Corpus Christi's nursing program. If it had like a little button on the bottom, I accept or I decline. So I hit the accept button, super happy. But her tears of joy would be short lived. Just hours after she received her acceptance letter. Got another email. We apologize, there has been an error. Uh, we will send corrected letters um, soon. She, along with 119 other nursing hopefuls, were denied entry into the program. We feel horrible. Uh, we take um, our, our role in this seriously. The provost and vice president of academic affairs says the problem started with a new employee. Since she was assigned the task for the very first time, wasn't really sure about how to go about using an Excel spreadsheet with the mail merge process. Phillips says through sorting through both programs, somehow acceptance letters were sent to all 325 applicants. School says they have worked vigilantly to make sure this mistake doesn't happen again. We are going to a centralized application process where both the dean and the associate dean will have will be in the approval path to verify all letters that go out. But DeRussi says she's still trying to figure out what to do next. If I'm working full time, it's hard to make, you know, straight A's and if they only choose straight A students and I might be better off just applying somewhere else. And school officials encourage students to reapply next year. If applicants have any concerns about what happened, the dean and assistant dean are willing to meet with them. Mackenzie, Joe.